The United Nations Development Programme (UNDP) is the United Nations Global Development Network. Headquartered in New York City, UNDP advocates for change and connects countries to knowledge, experience and resources to help people build a better life. It provides expert advice, training and grant support to developing countries, with increasing emphasis on assistance to the least developed countries. It promotes technical and investment cooperation among nations. The status of UNDP is that of an executive board within the United Nations General Assembly. The UNDP Administrator is the third highest ranking official of the United Nations after the United Nations Secretary General and Deputy Secretary General. To accomplish the SDGs and encourage global development, UNDP focuses on poverty reduction, HIV, AIDS, democratic governance, energy and environment, social development, and crisis prevention and recovery. UNDP also encourages the protection of human rights and the empowerment of women in all of its programs. The UNDP Human Development Report Office also publishes an annual Human Development Report since 1990 to measure and analyze developmental progress. In addition to a global report, UNDP publishes regional, national, and local human development reports. UNDP is funded entirely by voluntary contributions from member nations. The organization operates in 177 countries, where it works with local governments to meet development challenges and develop local capacity. Additionally, the UNDP works internationally to help countries achieve the Sustainable Development Goals (SDGs). UNDP was one of the main UN agencies involved in the development of the post-2015 development agenda. UNDP works with nations on their own solutions to global and national development challenges. As they develop local capacity, they draw on the people of UNDP and its wide range of partners. However UNDP offers to help only if the different nations request it to do so. Founding The UNDP was founded on of November 1965 with the merging of the Expanded Programme of Technical Assistance and the Special Fund. The rationale was to «avoid duplication of their activities». The EPTA was set up in 1949 to help the economic and political aspects of underdeveloped countries while the Special Fund was to enlarge the scope of UN technical assistance. The Special Fund arose from the idea of a Special United Nations Fund for Economic Development which was initially called UNFED. Countries such as the Nordic countries were proponents of such a United Nations controlled fund. However, the fund was opposed by developed countries, especially by the United States who was wary of the Third World dominating such a funding and preferred it to be under the auspices of the World Bank. The concept of SUNFED was dropped to form the Special Fund. This special fund was some compromise over the SUNFED concept, it did not provide investment capital, but only helped to bring preconditions for private investment. With the U.S. proposing and creating the International Development Association within the World Bank's umbrella, the EPTA and the Special Fund appeared to be conducting similar work. In 1962, the United Nations Economic and Social Council asked the Secretary General to consider the merits and disadvantages of merging UN technical assistance programs and in 1966, the EPTA and the Special Fund merged to form the UNDP. Budget In 2013, UNDP's entire budget was approximately $5 billion. Funding information table The following table lists the top 15 DAC five-digit sectors to which UNDP has committed funding, as recorded in its International Aid Transparency Initiative publications. The UNDP claims on the IATI registry website that the data covers 100% of development flows. UNDP topped the Aid Transparency Index published by Publish What You Fund in 2015 and 2016. The United Nations Development Programme (UNDP) tops the index for the second time with an excellent score of 93.3%, the only organization to score above 90%. Topic: Functions. 
UNDP's officers and staff are on the ground in 177 countries, working with governments and local communities to help them find solutions to global and national development challenges. UNDP links and coordinates global and national efforts to achieve the goals and national development priorities laid out by host countries. UNDP focuses primarily on five developmental challenges. Topic: Democratic Governance. UNDP supports national democratic transitions by providing policy advice and technical support, improving institutional and individual capacity within countries, educating populations about and advocating for democratic reforms, promoting negotiation and dialogue, and sharing successful experiences from other countries and locations. UNDP also supports existing democratic institutions by increasing dialogue, enhancing national debate, and facilitating consensus on national governance programs. <laughs> Poverty reduction UNDP helps countries develop strategies to combat poverty by expanding access to economic opportunities and resources, linking poverty programs with countries' larger goals and policies, and ensuring a greater voice for the poor. It also works at the macro level to reform trade, encourage debt relief and foreign investment, and ensure the poorest of the poor benefit from globalization. On the ground, UNDP sponsors developmental pilot projects, promotes the role of women in development, and coordinates efforts between governments, NGOs, and outside donors. In this way, UNDP works with local leaders and governments to provide opportunities for impoverished people to create businesses and improve their economic condition. The UNDP International Policy Center for Inclusive Growth in Brasilia, Brazil expands the capacities of developing countries to design, implement and evaluate socially inclusive development projects. IPCIG is a global forum for South-South policy dialogue and learning, having worked with more than 7,000 officials from more than 50 countries. A 2013 evaluation of the UNDP's poverty reduction efforts states that the UNDP has effectively supported national efforts to reduce poverty, by helping governments make policy changes that benefit the poor. Nevertheless, the same evaluation also states there is a strong need for better measurement and monitoring of the impacts of the UNDP's work. The UNDP's Strategic Plan 2014–2017 incorporates the recommendations of this poverty evaluation. Topic. Crisis prevention and recovery UNDP works to reduce the risk of armed conflicts or disasters, and promote early recovery after crises have occurred. UNDP works through its country offices to support local government in needs assessment, capacity development, coordinated planning, and policy and standard setting. Examples of UNDP risk reduction programs include efforts to control small arms proliferation, strategies to reduce the impact of natural disasters, and programs to encourage use of diplomacy and prevent violence. Recovery programs include disarmament, demobilization and reintegration of ex-combatants, demining efforts, programs to reintegrate displaced persons, restoration of basic services, and transitional justice systems for countries recovering from warfare. Topic. Environment and energy As the poor are disproportionately affected by environmental degradation and lack of access to clean, affordable water, sanitation and energy services, UNDP seeks to address environmental issues in order to improve developing countries' abilities to develop sustainably, increase human development and reduce poverty. UNDP works with countries to strengthen their capacity to address global environmental issues by providing innovative policy advice and linking partners through environmentally sensitive development projects that help poor people build sustainable livelihoods. UNDP's environmental strategy focuses on effective water governance including access to water supply and sanitation, access to sustainable energy services, sustainable land management to combat desertification and land degradation, conservation and sustainable use of biodiversity, and policies to control emissions of harmful pollutants and ozone-depleting substances. UNDP's Equator Initiative Office biennially offers the Equator Prize to recognize outstanding indigenous community efforts to reduce poverty through the conservation and sustainable use of biodiversity, and thus making local contributions to achieving the Millennium Development Goals 
In 2012 the Biodiversity Finance Initiative was established. BIOFIN brings 30 countries together to develop and implement evidence-based finance plans to safeguard biodiversity. BIOFIN has developed an innovative and adaptable methodology to guide countries to analyze the policy and institutional context for biodiversity finance, measure the current biodiversity expenditures, assess future financial needs, and identify the most suitable finance solutions to achieve national biodiversity targets. HIV, AIDS HIV, AIDS is a big issue in today's society and UNDP works to help countries prevent further spreading and reduce its impact, convening the Global Commission on HIV and the Law which reported in 2012. <laughs> Hub for Innovative Partnerships Major programs underway are Art Global Initiative World Alliance of Cities Against Poverty Territorial Approach to Climate Change Africa–Kazakhstan Partnership for the SDGs Human Development Report Since 1990, the UNDP has annually published the Human Development Report, which includes topics on human development and the annual Human Development Index. Topic. Evaluation The UNDP spends about 0.2% of its budget on internal evaluation of the effectiveness of its programs. The UNDP's Evaluation Office is a member of the UN Evaluation Group which brings together all the units responsible for evaluation in the UN system. Currently the UNEG has 43 members and 3 observers. Topic: Global Policy Centers. The UNDP runs six GPCs, including the sole GPC on partnerships, and the Global Center for Public Service Excellence that issues the Raffles Review email newsletter on developments in public administration research. Topic: UN Coordination Role. UNDP plays a significant coordination role for the UN's activities in the field of development. This is mainly executed through its leadership of the UN Development Group and through the Resident Coordinator System. United Nations Development Group The United Nations Development Group UNDG was created by the Secretary General in 1997, to improve the effectiveness of UN development at the country level. The UNDG brings together the operational agencies working on development. The group is chaired by the Administrator of UNDP. UNDP also provides the Secretariat to the group. The UNDG develops policies and procedures that allow member agencies to work together and analyze country issues, plan support strategies, implement support programs, monitor results and advocate for change. These initiatives increase UN impact in helping countries achieve the Millennium Development Goals MDGs, including poverty reduction. 32 UN agencies are members of the UNDG. The Executive Committee consists of the four founding members. UNICEF, UNFPA, WFP and UNDP. The Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights is an ex officio member of the Executive Committee. <laughs> Resident Coordinator System The Resident Coordinator RC system coordinates all organizations of the United Nations system dealing with operational activities for development in the field. The RC system aims to bring together the different UN agencies to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of operational activities at the country level. Resident coordinators, who are funded, appointed and managed by UNDP, lead UN country teams in more than 130 countries and are the designated representatives of the Secretary-General for Development Operations. Working closely with national governments, resident coordinators and country teams advocate the interests and mandates of the UN drawing on the support and guidance of the entire UN family. It is now coordinated by the UNDG. Topic: 
Topic: Controversies. Topic: NSA surveillance. Documents of Edward Snowden showed in December 2013 that British and American intelligence agency surveillance targets with America's National Security Agency included organizations such as the United Nations Development Programme, the UN's children's charity UNICEF and Medisan Sans Frontières and the Economic Community of West African States Topic. Allegations of UNDP resources used by Hamas In August 2016, Israel's Shin Bet Security Agency went public with the arrest of Wahid Abdullah al bursh a Palestinian engineer with the United Nations Development Program. In its statement, Shin Bet said that Wahid had confessed to being recruited in 2014 to help Hamas. Among various assignments, he performed on behalf of Gaza's dominant Islamist group was assistance in building a maritime jetty for its fighters, using UNDP resources, the Shin Bet statement said without providing further details on that charge. It said Bursch also persuaded his UNDP superiors to prioritize the neighborhoods of Hamas operatives when earmarking money for reconstruction in Gaza, which was devastated by a 2014 war with Israel. Topic. Criticism The UNDP has been criticized by members of its staff and the Bush administration of the United States for irregularities in its finances in North Korea. Art John Shkertaj claimed that he had found counterfeit U.S. dollars in the program's safe while the staff were paid in euros. The UNDP denied any wrongdoing, and keeping improper accounts. Topic. Disarmament and controversy In mid-2006, as first reported by Inner City Press and then by the New Vision, UNDP halted its disarmament programs in the Karamoja region of Uganda in response to human rights abuses in the parallel forcible disarmament programs carried out by the Uganda People's Defense Force. Administrator. The UNDP Administrator has the rank of an Under Secretary General of the United Nations. While the Administrator is often referred to as the third highest ranking official in the UN after the UN Secretary General and the UN Deputy Secretary General, this has never been formally codified. In addition to his or her responsibilities as head of UNDP, the Administrator is also the Vice Chair of the UN Development Group. The position of Administrator is appointed by the Secretary General of the UN and confirmed by the General Assembly for a term of four years. Arkham Steiner is the current Administrator. The five countries on the UNDP board have some influence over selection of the Administrator. The first Administrator of the UNDP was Paul G. Hoffman, former head of the Economic Cooperation Administration, which administered the Marshall Plan. Other holders of the position have included Bradford Morse, former Republican congressman from Massachusetts, William Draper, venture capitalist and friend of George H. W. Bush, who saw one of the UN system's major achievements, the Human Development Report, introduced during his tenure, Mark Malik Brown, who was previously Vice President of External Affairs at the World Bank and subsequently became UN Deputy Secretary General. Kamal Dervis, a former finance minister of Turkey and senior World Bank official, was the previous UNDP administrator. Dervis started his four-year term on 15 August 2005. <inaudible> <inaudible> Associate Administrator During meetings of the UN Development Group, which are chaired by the Administrator, UNDP is represented by the Associate Administrator. The position is currently held by Tegenwork Getu, appointed on 1 December 2015. He is also currently service as Director A.I. for the Africa Region. Topic assistant Administrators Assistant Administrators of the UNDP, Assistant United Nations Secretary Generals and Directors of the Regional Bureaus are Susan McDade Denmark, for Bureau of Management, Abdullahi Ma Dai Senegal, for Bureau for Program and Policy Support, Haoliang Zhu China, for Asia and Pacific, Merjanis Boljaric Ega Switzerland, for Europe and CIS and Lenny Montiel A. I. Venezuela, for Latin America and the Caribbean. Uh, 
Topic: <laughs> Goodwill Ambassadors. UNDP, along with other UN agencies, has long enlisted the voluntary services and support of prominent individuals as goodwill ambassadors to highlight these causes. Their fame helps amplify the urgent and universal message of human development and international cooperation, helping to accelerate achievement of the Millennium Development Goals. They articulate the UNDP development philosophy and programs of self-reliant opportunities and motivate people to act in the interest of improving their own lives and those of their fellow citizens. Global ambassadors See also